Welcome, welcome, Star Tribe. This is the Matrix Oracle. I am welcoming you back to a pick a card reading. And today we are going to look at messages from your inner child. I am so excited about this. This is connected to the transit of Mars going into Cancer September 4 to November 3rd, 2024. So we're going to create the piles. I feel message one, message two, probably. But again, you know, children, they like to play around. So <laughs> we're going to see uh, how everything is going to fall. We're going to have the option for the zodiac placement. If you want to pick your zodiac sign, I also invite you to look at your Mars placement and zodiac placement and maybe associate to that pile. Again, be playful with this. This is so exciting. Okay, so we're going to have the pile with this deck of cards. Okay. Did not expect it, but okay. <laughs> All right. What messages from the inner child? So first, the holy mountain. Ooh, I like this. I like, I like. Pile number one, the holy mountain. Mmm. We're creating so much more with spirit and obviously your inner child is connected to the divine in triunity, uh, bringing so much blessings onto the earth. So pile, oop, I saw it. Pile number two, we have taming the wind. Beautiful energy. Of the number 55, 25, 55, okay. And ooh, this is the one. Number three, the crow. Of the number 13. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm just thinking about next. Soon we'll have a Friday the 13th in the month of September. I don't know why I need to mention it, but that could be for some of you. Let's associate those zodiac signs. Okay, so first ones we have Scorpio pile number one. We have Virgo. We have Capricorn. And we have Taurus. Okay, then what do we have up for pile number two in the zodiac placement? We have Gemini, we have Aquarius, we have Pisces, and we have Sagittarius. Beautiful. And the last ones, this is Leo, Libra, Cancer, and Aries. All right, so take a deep breath or choose according to your zodiac sign or just what draws you in. We will prepare the piles if you want to watch this or you can just look at the timestamps and just skip ahead to your message. Let's get your cards, pile number one messages whoop, from your inner child okay what are those messages okay children like <laughs> disorder <laughs> like a little bit of creativity okay let's see how that falls into place into play <laughs> Oh, this one too. Okay. All right. Messages from the inner child, please, for pile number one. There's two. Okay. And let's see here. Okay. All right. Pile number two. Uh, one. Whoa. Maybe some of you. There's two messages. I want to mention it. Okay. That's for you. 
pile number one. Pile number two, let's get, okay, this one wants to go first, so we'll do that. <laughs> let's get your cards. Again, the child likes to play <laughs> on its own terms and time. Okay, all right. No more of this? Okay, all right. Whoa, okay, all right. That feels like a lot. How many cars? Yeah, that's a lot. Up, up. Okay, and messages for pile number two from the inner child. All right, that's gonna be your cards for you. And then again, I like to use tarot cards if we have questions as we go along. All right, that's for you. Number three, let's get your cards. Okay. Okay, this one too. And okay. All right, this one wanted to come in too. Very interesting, <laughs> almost non-shuffling for you. Pile number three, messages from your inner child. Oh, okay, this one just fell um, as I was putting the card on the side. So we'll indulge in this order. Okay. All right, that's going to be your cards. And for questions, we'll use the tarot cards. Okay, that's for you, pile number three. Pile number one. Let's look at your messages from your inner child. You chose the beautiful card of the holy mountain. Ooh, there's something going on here with this energy. We have soon an eclipse that's occurring September 17, okay? Um, but you're seeing it's not yet happening. We just had the new moon. There's definitely strong messages for you, pile number one, uh, for the space between the new moon and the full moon that's going to be an eclipse energy. You might have chosen this according to your zodiac placement, uh, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. All right, let's put them on the side and let's look at your cards. I feel I want to put this here, <laughs> like a, a cascade. Yeah, we have Archangel Shamuel with Be What You Want to Attract. Okay, messages from your inner child. Okay, there's a certain type of goal maybe that you're trying to manifest and that your inner child wants to support you with. Weather the storms, let it change you. Embrace the unexpected. Wow, look at this energy. So gorgeous. Deep and intense. And yet, I don't feel any... You know, I don't actually feel that this person is actually walking through those waters with a calm state of knowing that they have to go through this. But it doesn't seem like it's changing them. Um, or affecting them. You know what, with the, the thunder, I feel that it's connected to your nervous system. You're changing ways you're wiring or your nervous system is wired. I feel that is part of the message. Let's look at this now. De Kellier, elder, teacher, wise one, experience. Wow, okay. Um, your inner child is actually through through the creativity, the playfulness. I just read earlier this morning an Albert Einstein um, quote that says, creativity is intelligence at play or something, you know, that, that, that shows that as you're having fun, you, that's intelligence, that's, that brings you knowledge. When you're doing things that are fun to you. And I feel this is, there's, there's, a, there's a symbolism here that, from your inner child, about how you're 
in a phase right now receiving this energy message of you rewiring the way you used to go about your life. And this is going to activate some ancient wisdom, okay, connected to the heart. Maybe you're going to receive visions through this activation. Mm. By the way, some of you, if you don't know, I do have now in the YouTube Tri membership um, an option that's called Starseed Rise Up, where we're doing some energy work. I call them cosmic alignment energy sessions so we can process all those transits. So some of you, when you receive this and you want to deepen this activation, you might want to consider joining us, okay? If that resonates with you. We have Pachamama. Oh, this is, wow, okay. I'm going to look at all the cards here because this is deep. This is deeply rooted wisdom. The rainbow, wow. Okay. And the rattle. Ooh, that is that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to express this first because I feel I want to. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is so childlike. Oh, I said something. I'll wait. And no, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, um, some of you are very much connected to holding within your DNA and not just your blood DNA, your star DNA, your connection to the cosmos, okay? Where your soul draws energy from. And what I mean by energy is like energy teachings, energy lessons, okay? And your child is saying, first of all, the outdoors, the elements, grounding your feet in the dirt, in the earth, going into the rivers, the ocean, okay, looking at the elements, looking at the mountains. There is some deep activation through the heartbeat of Mother Earth that your child wants to awaken, okay? The, the rattle and that storm is really an activation from all the elements of this universe, earth, fire, water, air, and ether, aka magic. You know, I also see it associated to the mountain, to this, 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 this element that brings up higher, brings up to the peak to experience that climax I'm hearing, you know, of euphoria, okay? So this is, your inner child wants you to know that through nature, the elements, being outdoors and having fun. And that means that some of you, maybe you like to pick flowers. Maybe you like to, even if you, you like to, um, you know, help the, the beaches with all the trash and just like pick up, you know, the plastics on the beach. Any type of thing that connects you deeper to Mother Earth. Some of you, maybe you like to hug trees, okay? Your child is saying, Connect to the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Some of you, you might relate to um, the Rainbow Warriors, okay? And what I mean by this is, some of you might research the term, but the rainbow is all the different expression of the colors. It's also connecting to the chakra. I feel that what you're going through for this transit, which is Mars in Cancer, okay, which is, that's why with Cancer, the inner child wanted to come out and say, hey, let's have more fun outdoors, let's have more fun in water, let's have more fun picking rocks on the side of the road. Uh, I used to be like that as a child. I used to pick rocks, and my mom did not like that. 
uh, it would make me very sad. I felt I, I could speak to the rocks when I was seeing them and then holding them. I felt like I was holding a friend. Okay, and I'm mentioning this here. Some of you, your, you know, messages from your child is to remember your connection to the elements. And through this transit, you are blessed with connecting even deeper to this vibration, okay? And because it's saying like you, to be what you want to attract, you need to work with alchemy. Alchemy works with the elements. So have fun like you used to as a child to observe and play with nature, okay? So that's what I feel is coming very strongly, you know, as spending those times. Some of you, if you have children, you know, just go ahead and do like more outings outside if you can, okay? But even I saw an image, like even just when it's raining slightly, I'm not saying pouring, but if you want to dance in the rain, you know, I feel it here with the storm because when we dance in the rain and we have laughter, it's almost like an expression of us being able to weather any storm, to be able to surrender to the divine and say everything will be fine, all is well. Okay, beautiful. Wow. You know what? <laughs> Those inner child and inner children are really wise. You know, it's like this is a connection to ancient wisdom through the playfulness, the creativity, the joyfulness of the child. Okay. Oh, wow. You're definitely... Look at another element, a change in the wind. You're, you're creating a lot of upgrades, you know, through this transit. I love it. Love, 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 love it. The tribe. Beautiful. loyal heart and deep knowing mm. okay with this I, there's something coming through okay um i feel that some of you the inner child your inner child wants you to remind you of your abilities as a child and some of you you could hear messages through the wind you could feel you know the, you could feel and that's you know <laughs> if some of you have experienced really intense uh childhood and you were a strong empath you had this hypersensitivity that got enhanced through being you know obviously as a child we want to be safe being conscious of your environment. And that means not just the environment of the elements, but you were starting to be more conscious of the environment of your parents, your family, school, whatever was surrounding you. Okay. And I feel that your nervous system here, your renewed vibration, what your child wants to share with you to support you in your shadow and light work is to connect to the purity of earth, of Gaia, of the element. So you can attune back to your own heartbeat, to your own rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some of you also... I feel that through this process, if you haven't just yet, finding more and more of your soul tribe, you know, soul tribe, people that are connected to the elements, shamanic ways, ancient ways, pagan ways of honoring earth, of honoring the experience on earth. And your child is saying, it's time. It's time to rewire your nervous system to this receptivity not hyper but balance and poised bringing a lot more of peace and harmony 
So you're receiving the guidance with more ease. Okay, so I'm seeing here for you, pile number one, your um, inner child wants you to um, have more fun uh, with activities that are childlike, that will rewire your nervous system, that will, uh, I feel like some of you, it's even, you know, through... <laughs> through going out and for example stopping and hugging a tree you know you might not realize but people that are going to watch you if there's any people that's going to watch you you're going to activate something in them maybe the remembrance of when they used to hug trees or you know whatever it is it's like saying like just be who you are reconnect to those um energy vessels because the rocks the crystals the trees the plants uh, the wind the water they're vessels and they contain uh energy downloads because they're receiving also the downloads from the sun just like you to support you to raise your vibration mm -hmm. Mars, when you're working with Kundalini energy, is connected to the solar plexus. Okay, so I do feel here a lot, um, being outdoors might be really supportive through this um, time. So that's something your inner child wants you to know. Um, what else should we highlight? Whoa, yeah, this one, like it was flipped up. Wow. Okay, so the Ace of Cups relates to Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius season. As we are here channeling this message, we're in Virgo. I feel that it's saying fill your cup with the element. We're going to rehearse how to, you know, fill your, our own cup again and again, just like the Holy Grail. So this so you have a fall season, again, if you're in the North Hemisphere, but when you work with the Zodiac, it doesn't matter where you're at. But it's saying like right now is the perfect time for you to reconnect to the elements because the elements create the source that allows your cup to not just be filled, but to overflow. Okay. And let's see here what we have. We have the death card, a rebirth, transformation. Oh, you know, but for this one, I actually feel that there's something different. Look at this. She's on a stone, you know? And I feel like with the onk, this is like, there's ancient wisdom from especially the rocks with the mountain. You know, I feel like she's going to awaken from slumber. There's a there's an ancient part of you, ancient wisdom that can only come through your relationships to the element that wants to be born. We have here the five of swords. Mm. Okay, interesting. One second, I'm trying to... Yeah, this is interesting because she's getting pierced here in the back of her heart chakra, okay? That relates to um, Taurus when you're working with the heart chakra, okay? And you have here Taurus. So this is enhanced here, especially with this um, if you have any Taurus placement, okay, Taurus is an N, is a zodiac sign that it's light work, it's to hold the divine light, okay. So, what I'm seeing here is that your inner child is saying that through your reconnection to the elements, you're going to awaken some not just ancient wisdom but a version of you that is going to totally be reborn out of whatever 
betrayal you know maybe i feel here with the tribe card maybe it was you were used to attract repetitive repetitive patterns of uh relationship and that used to maybe empty your cup so your inner child is saying believe it or not like if you like to believe in fairies if you like to pick up rocks you know that's something when i met my soul partner uh we went one of our first dates because i always we have this in common where we're always in nature we love spending time in nature we went to the beach and right away both of us went to pick up shells and we looked at each other like you don't mind if and we are like bunch of shells bunch of sea glass but like we can't you know it's like if they speak to us we have to take them with us and we looked at each other like two ch children and we were just so happy um, because, yeah, in the past, we may have attracted some people that were like, what are you going to do with this? And we're like, well, that's my friend. <laughs> that's my friend. The, the shell. Don't you see? You know, and I feel that this is what your inner child is saying, you know, and it's going to feel so refreshing so refreshing to let go of the pattern of attraction um, to, to maybe relationships that do not hold the same sensitivity because this is something I really feel for you. It's like your ancient wisdom and your creativity and your playfulness can only find its playground, can only find its full space for not just being created, but being anchored through this type of childlike energy, because that's a part and extension of you. That's something you know, and that's something you need to be loyal to. And you're going to be amazed by the blessings that are going to come forward with this energy. I love this. I am really feeling blessed. So I actually already feel the frequencies that I would want to suggest for you, I really feel that the solar flares would help because of replenishing the codes while you're in nature. You can use it in nature and I'll put it somewhere here. So the solar flares and um, some of you, if you have access to the Kundalini Rise Up, Goddess Rise Up or all the levels of YouTube membership, you can work with Mars to support your uh, your solar plexus or you can also work with the inner child sovereignty one of my favorites okay to work with the inner child so those are the three ones that i would recommend for you at this time i'm sending you many blessings and have fun my dear one bye and remember to like <laughs> pile number two Let's look at your messages from your inner child. So you picked Taming the Wind. It's very seer-like or, you know, um, elemental dancer here that I feel for you. With the number 55, an alchemist of the element. And if you chose by your um, zodiac sign, we have Aquarius, Gemini, we'll put it aside, Sagittarius and Pisces. Okay, so let's look at those messages. Ooh, yeah, that's right, you had some extra. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Satellite symbol, turn on your light. Are you some type of like <laughs> radio station? Well, we are all vibrating, you know? But wow, with the wind and the satellite, Okay, inner child, like what is going on? Okay, let's let's look at the cards first. We have oh, good luck, auspicious, wishes granted, blessings. Entering some type of portal leading to some type of kingdom. <laughs> what? Oh, be the mountain. Slow and steady, foundations, patience. Wow, you're a channel. Like, there's like some channeling going on that is huge here, pal. Number two. 
And it's funny, I think when I was preparing the pile, there was, um, I called pile number one as I was shuffling pile number two. So if you were hesitant with pile number one or two, uh, there might be more than one pile for you. Okay, especially they had the holy mountain. I feel like it might be more messages from the inner child. And we have soul agreement, soul mission, soul plan, life purpose. Wow. I don't know why, but I know those are like, you know, structures that are occurring through the mountains. But I thought I saw people. I saw souls. Oh, she's pregnant. Wow. Okay. All right. Mm. Well, this is like, I am impressed by how deep the inner child is as far as the wisdom of the messages. It's, it's, it really feels like an extension of the higher self. But when you think about it, when we were children, we were channeling the higher self with ease and flow. We didn't have resistance from the mind. And from the certain brain waves we were on, the way we were plugged into the brain waves was in all receptivity. There was no critical mind thinking that would uh, disallow this type of connection. Okay, so you're being reminded of this. And the wind, the air element really connects also to the thoughts. So brain waves, satellite, Ooh, message in a bottle. What are you bringing? What are you... Why? Oh, wow. Okay, all right. It's making, like, a lot of sense. Poised. And higher power. Okay. Um, pile number two. We'll see this in just after I mentioned this. You feel like a very like your inner child is saying to you, you're highly psychic. Your your extra senses and your clairs are part of your purpose, are part of your soul agreement. The way you always had those those um <laughs> I'm seeing like buttons like on a radio station like you know it's always always turned on now if you're watching this and you feel disconnected this is where we're going to get some of the um, guidance and when I did this it's it's it reminded me I'm going to share this um, some of you might not know yet because I'm starting to share this uh, on the YouTube Soul Tribe membership, I have now a new level called Starseed Rise Up, where I mix energy sound healing, my knowledge of sound engineering with my knowledge of sports medicine to work through the energy lines so we can start moving through the body some of the patterns and bring some of the downloads, the frequencies. So it's, it's really taking a huge shape and form. And I feel that for you, those buttons, you know, that are maybe turned off, that might be because of certain ways that you shut yourself down from connecting, maybe as a response to others, okay? Let's see what this card has. The circle. Well, wow, you're, okay, pile number two, you're highly guided to feel supported at this time, your inner child saying, you have more children to play with. And what I mean by this is like soul tribe. Um, you're here to be a channel also for, maybe some of you soul come in, coming in to earth. You're moving into a gateway where you'll connect more and more so to your purpose through those senses. The, the, your highly sensitive, sensual, realize that how your body reacts is 
a receptivity to certain broadcast. Now your highest alignment to receive those downloads, the inner child wants you to remind you is through your playfulness, not through fear, bring more love when this occurs. So we're going to get messages here because I feel that this pile here is manifesting a particular gateway of downloads of information through the connection to their child. You might have done some womb healing. You might have done a lot of introspection work. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that is coming forward and we want to make sure that we're allowing the receptivity of those channels, those senses. And I really feel like, you know, you have like more than one, like clear audience, clear, uh, clear voice, clear audience. I said this, why is it so important? Clear audience. <laughs> why? Okay. Uh, this clear cognizance. And I would say here, uh, there's a particular Claire, but I only know it at psychometry, and, but there's a specific word for this, where you can touch things and get reactivated through touching objects, holding objects, putting your hands on certain symbol. How can we help pile number two and get guidance uh, through this reconnection to the hyper senses, the extra senses, the psychic senses? We have the seven of cups. We have the sun. Mm. Beautiful. We have the ace of wands. And we have the page of pentacles. I have to tell you, pile number two, I feel like I'm picking up on the broadcast. You have a lot going on. I have almost like a hard time focusing, okay? Some of you, it's, you know, when you're, I was expressing this through the hypersensitivity to your environment, you know, I feel that this could um, interfere with some of the things that you're meant to receive for yourself because there is a tendency to hyper-focus on protecting yourself so on hyper focusing on the things that are off that are off okay oh yeah that, that makes sense okay so we want to change your hyper focus to come from a place of love okay and for this I already can tell you I have a great frequency that is called um, the rainbow bridge it actually helps also with any type of transition gateway allowing um, to grieve, but also letting go of that pattern um, of hi being hypersensitive or hyper-focused onto the things that are imbalanced, you know, as if, okay, let me see what I can do to like fix the vibe or, uh, you know, and no more. Your child wants you to find peace with your own frequency. So the rainbow bridge, I'll put it there, okay? And, you know, if not, just look into my uh, channel um, under the rainbow frequency. You are, your child wants you to know that you're very connected to the elements. You're very connected to, uh, and your creativity, deep, your life force. You see here the stillness with the ace of one and the poise. Um, if some of you have a hard time meditating, this is very crucial for this transit to bring more stillness. You know, you can do movement as far as stretching, yoga, uh, whatever calls your body to feel that it has space, but creating some time for yourself. Your inner child is saying, there are, there's like the page of pentacles is, is the one that's going to be offered that pentacle. And there's a lot of activation through the art. I feel that there is a specific expression, art. And some of you, if you already are arts or <laughs> artists, okay, hardest, um, 
there's a specific download. There's a specific thing that is very much connected. Maybe it's the way to get to this gateway. Maybe some of you, if you're painting, you're not realizing that your paints are portals. Oh, I have to share this with you, my dear one. I just had a soul session with an artist and she realized only through our session that she had painted this paint two years before her daughter came into birth and she realized it through the session that her daughter's favorite dress was actually in the painting. She had painted the soul of her child and her preferences years before she came into life. And years before, you know, the child was like, hey, this painting is, you know, mommy, this painting, uh, it, it makes me feel held, makes me feel safe. So some of you, there's something about this, okay? And part of you being able to see the beauty of your extra psychic senses, the beauty of your art because it's like why a lot of the artists that I you know attract or healers they're like but who's gonna care about this who is going to buy this but you have no idea how you know vibration speaks and vibration moves people towards you you're a channel for a specific art you're a channel uh and part of a greater group some of you you might not realize but you know you might be part of uh, connecting to raw consciousness, the law of one. Some of you may know also about uh, Abraham Hicks, you know, so that's a channel, Abraham as a soul group. So things like that. Yeah, it, it, you're, pile number two, your inner child is really craving, craving the self-expression and it's showing in this message that it is crucial for you at this time to follow whatever endeavor it brings or it wants to bring out to birth okay but you're probably going to want to have some stillness okay some meditative work again if you want to join us and do some meditative energy work, cosmic alignment energy sessions. You'll have some details down below. I feel I want um, to see some specific frequency for you. We, we already mentioned the rainbow bridge. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Makes so much sense. Karmic astrology, the wounded healer. Okay. Um, that's going to require you to look at your natal chart. Look at this little symbol and find it on your natal chart. In what zodiac sign? And then you'll see I'll put the playlist access and go and work in stillness. Receive the guidance, the frequency for this. Because the karmic um, wounded healer, Chiron, okay, uh, is actually your gateway to becoming your own guru, to becoming your own healer. So some of you, if you are doubting your own healing abilities through your psychic senses, that's a perfect playlist for you to work with, okay? I'm going to put it here just so we keep, keep it. Yeah, I feel like it has to do with the channeling. Some of you, maybe that could be part of those blocks, okay? Is there anything else the inner child wants to share with pile number two? Is there anything else? I feel there's something about the circle. What else is about the circle? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles. You see all this, this the, uh, circle, round, energy, working with the elements you know what this is where i feel you might want to listen to pile number one pile number one had a lot of messages to work with the elements with taming the wind here you see here it's taming the thoughts taming the uh intrusion maybe of some of the parasitic frequencies okay and i have something for you if some of you are suffering from too much broadcast i created this 
you know, again, all that I create is like, it's because at some point I needed it and craved it. It's in the vibrational pharmacy and it's called parasites. Okay. If some of you, and that can work with germs and actual parasites, okay. In the body, but I created it initially because I'm hypersensitive uh, to the broadcast, you know, I can, I usually try to get up in the house before anybody gets up because as soon as everybody gets up, I receive everyone's, you know, disharmony. And that used to happen when I was not strongly in alignment with my connection to source. And now it doesn't happen as much. It's still a work in progress where, because also through experiencing the you know, the struggle with other people's frequency, you are seeking more tools to support yourself. And I feel that some of you, you not might not realize, but your inner child is saying like, part of you experiencing this, this type of um, tendency to focus on, you know, the outside or letting the outside penetrate you and feeling overwhelmed or whatever, hypersensitive, is part of the force Okay, that's going to trigger the activation of your powerful, uh, creative uh, self expression. There's something you're meant to gift. Okay, and that's very strong. It seems that, you know, uh, this is channeled in honor of Mars and Cancer. There's something you're meant to channel at this time. And I would say focus more on first your healing. Okay, so channeling something that is for you, maybe something has to do with um, maybe pa painting or expressing something that your child wants to express. Some of you, I know, uh, what you you know were part of the the soul groups. Uh, I sometimes invite you to like start drawing, and I've seen some of you like react like, "Oh my God, I used to love drawing," and start drawing again. And I see the talent. I'm like, "Oh my God, why did you stop?" Okay, so there's something here. Okay, about your inner child wanting you to work on stilling or calming your mind, creating an environment where you can uh, find love, find healing, because your hypersensitivity is your gift, not your curse. Okay, and it has a purpose, a purpose, the, the why. It has a strong purpose to be a channel for yourself and others of a certain gift, of a certain expression that is very much needed at this time. So I can't wait to hear some of you, if that's you, pile number two, please let me know in the details below. Um, I got, there's something about crystal for some of you, maybe working with crystals, surrounding you with crystals can be supportive. This is Ember. Some of you, I want to mention it because it got, like my ring got caught in my, <laughs> in my, um, in my hair. Yeah. Okay, hair is power, hair is intuition, hair is your antennas. Okay, so there might be something here for you. All right, that's all I have. I'm sending you many blessings. Please remember to like those videos if it supported you. I'm sending you much love and light. And again, if you have any questions about the frequencies, please let me know. You can email, comment, DM on Instagram. I'm always happy to be of service. Namaste. Pile number three, let's look at your messages from your inner child. I have to tell you, uh, so far those messages are really deep and really showing me as a channel here how the inner child has a very similar vibration to the higher self because of its connection, pure connection to source. It's unbelievable the... Um, wisdom, but it comes with, uh, you know, very practical little, um, supportive, I'm not going to say tricks, but things that light up children. Okay. <laughs> so if you chose pile number three, you chose the crow. Mm. Okay. And you might have chosen with the zodiac signs, Leo, Libra, I'm going to put them aside, Aries and Cancer. Okay, so let's look at your messages from your inner child, pile number three. Ooh, Archaea victory. Raise your vibration. You're not going to believe this. Look at this. Here, 
here. Double 13. That's super luck. <laughs> super luck coming through. Wow. Okay. Then you have the giveaway. Mm. The cave. Retreat, time out, self care, slow down. The stone goddess, unwavering love and support, maternal line. Oof. That is potent. The eagle. The ancient cross and the ghost dance. Hmm. I'm going to keep this for now. Okay. Pile number three messages from your inner child. There is, there's like very different. Um, energy from this side and from the other side and I feel like your inner child is saying this is a prosperous time opportunist time you're at a crossroad where you can finally give away all of your past aches hurts trauma especially things that could have been linked and connected to the mother, this transit, so Mars in Cancer, is going to be highly supportive of you removing the blocks that are connected to the womb, okay? Very much. This is a great time of luck where you will be able to also see through the eyes and i feel this is because as you raise your vibration you know you see it here you're reaching this message and you've already done some light work shadow work introspection journaling and you've been raising your vibration you've been ascending and through this higher vibration your child is saying like do you realize that the more you raise your vibe the more present and close to each other we are. So it's almost like showing you know, like as you are more and more in, in alignment with the frequency of love, as you raise and shine above, you're able to directly connect to this child. And <clears throat> I feel, yeah, there's certain things that maybe you didn't see that you needed okay, that you needed as a child. And not just the things that, you know, well, I didn't receive this from my mom, from my dad, or this happened and that made me a certain way. More of the things that now can feed your soul. And you're at a crossroad here, a crossroad of renewal. And your child has messages about this crossroad because it is more present, whether you're connecting to it consciously more or so, okay? It's saying, I'm here. As you raise your vibration, I am more present with you. And I can help you see some of the things that you truly need for this next phase. Because right now, we're in a cycle where we're manifesting our most abundant timeline. And we have all those transits that are happening in this phase so this is all guidance for this cosmic and you know sacred dance of manifestation okay so let's see what else breathe imagine oh wow look at all this blue yin wow. to the sea 
oh yeah, you're going to want to let go and let God <laughs> come to the edge. Oh, I love this as an end here of this guidance. Okay, so pile number three. As you raise your vibration, it's highly recommended first that you do this through stillness, through meditation. If I haven't shared this with you yet, because, you know, I don't know who's watching, but I have started doing and including in the YouTube Soul Tribe membership a level that's called um, Starseed Rise Up that supports you through energy work, um, breath work, now we're integrating more of the stretching. I feel like for you, maybe yin yoga. I have recently done, I think it's the Venus in Libra, uh, a session that is all about, you know, opening up to what is called the muscle of the soul, which is the psoas. So some of you, I feel like your body is right now able and wanting to release the old. It's like you need to give it away, give it in sanctity to the universe. And your inner child is saying, it needs that space. It needs that space for creating something new. Okay? So you're receiving this message as the inner child is saying, we're still feeling certain heaviness in the womb, in the way we connect, because the way we connect to the mother and even the father affects our imagination. We want to bring healing and the child is the result of feminine and masculine. So the child here, but here with all this yin is really an, uh, an accent on a highlight, an enhanced energy towards the feminine because you want to create from the womb and the sacred heart. And that means that anything that is connected to your womb that is still um, affecting you will affect your vision, your possibility of creative vision, okay? So let's see the recommendations here because you have, you know, with the ego, like it wants you to take you higher, but we have to remove certain things. I, I really feel I'm going to mention it right now Okay, working with the quantum fascia playlist mm -hmm. for you, pile number three. I really feel this, uh, you know, as far as all this blue, all this it's water, it's going to help you release the structured water that rehearses certain uh, patterns. Okay, can we get more guidance for pile number three? You know, Mars is... Is, a re is, is your fuel, is your vector of energy, allowing more energy to travel through you. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles. Let me see this. I'm going to show it to you. You know, I feel like with this, there's, there's an activation from the elements that you're receiving, cycle after cycle. <clears throat> Every cycle, there is a wisdom. Every cycle, there is a wisdom. Um, your inner child seems to be attracted to dance with the cycles, okay? So maybe some of you, um, you know, honoring uh, the cycles of the sacred dance of the moon. So for example, when there is a new moon, uh, cleaning up for the new energy, uh, looking into your uh, drawers, your bureau, your closet, and, and, and kind of upgrading and creating space, looking into your makeup, your products, all of things, and creating that new space is really uh, supportive. For the full moon, you know, having uh, maybe a session with yourself where you're burning sage, incense, and, and honoring 
what you've learned because the full moon is like two weeks later after the new moon what are you learning what is what the energy is teaching you i feel there's a lot of um reverence that your child has with playing through life okay you might be super um connected to the elements or connected to uh, rhythm sound and you're not realizing i feel that uh, you're surrounding you have to realize that your surrounding can create sometimes even like um clutter you know when you're trying to remove clutter some of you it could be that there's something and i i'm going to mention it because i felt it maybe some of you it's uh, if you've lost your mom or if you've lost a parent. There's a certain ritual that your inner child wants you to um, offer to celebrate the one that may have passed instead of um, maybe um, feeling low vibration, feeling sad. Not that you're not supposed to feel it, but when you're creating a moment of for celebrating maybe it's a picture that you have maybe it's an object a scarf a, a, a brooch or something um maybe put it on a place where you can look at it and honor it put some flowers next to it i i don't know for who that is but i really strongly feel it so i want to i want to share it there's something about reverence for you uh with the giveaway with the crow the eagle the ghost dance you know um honoring the ancestors Honoring the part of you that is ancient, honoring the part of you that wants um, to also transcend some of the past and yet honor it. Okay, so there's there's something here as far as your inner child likes to, um, and that's why I'm saying like you know the inner child seems to be really showing how wise it is, you know really how wise it is just like sometimes we see children just blur out truth and we're like what <laughs> yeah so what else can we share with pile um number three about this process this 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 honoring um of life this is an opportunist time. Know that this is happening and you're reaching this message for the greatest uh, outcome. And if you're receiving this and it's not the exact time of the reading, that, that is still accurate. That's meant for you to receive. We have the devil here. Okay. We have the ace of pentacles. Hmm. The tower, which is Mars energy. And we have the star. Okay. You know, the devil is a card that is connected to the mind. The illusions that the mind can create. Okay. And it seems that there is behind this phase you're in right now. Your child is saying it's very opportunistic. It's very lucky for you to address maybe some of the shadows of your mind. Through stillness and through seeing also how maybe are you limiting yourself. Maybe you don't allow yourself to imagine a greater life than you deserve. You have a lot of support, but it seems that maybe... What's keeping you is something that is connected to the childhood, especially the mother, because the mother also is the birther. And your child is saying, hey, mom, I want to play with you. OK, but if a part of you is wounded by the mother, then how can the mother in you can play with the child in you? There's some type of realization, you know, as far as how maybe also your creative self or your creations could be affected by um, some of those old wounds. Okay, again, quantum fascia could really help. Um, I'm going to mention here, if you want to work with the auric detoxifier uh, that I created for womb healing, okay, I'm going to write it also auric detoxifier because for the first seven years of your life, 
pile number three. You're sharing the aura and the auric field of the mother. Mm -hmm. One of the meditation practice that we just did for the new moon is actually, I'm using um, a, a technique called aura breathing. I call it aura breathing because when I rehearsed it, it just felt like my aura was able to breathe through my pores, activating all parts of me. Yeah. All right. Can we get some more support and guidance for pile number three from the inner child? Okay, I know. Once we have done this work, okay, what can we expect? Nice. Oh, see what I showed you? This is the mother and the child. There is something here beautiful that's awaiting. It's like your child may be feeling abandoned a little bit by because it wants to create with the mom, it wants to create with you. But if there's still you wounded by the mother principle, the creative principle, you know, you might not realize that's what's occurring at this time. Oh, I love it. Look at this, the emperor. Do you're healing your solar plexus. Mars is connected to the solar plexus when you work with Kundalini. Look, a hawk. Your vision is going to expand. Yes. And you're going to put this, these, these traumas, you know, and um, maybe some of you with depression, you know, in the past. You're going to put this behind you. I'm loving this for you, pile number three. Your inner child wants to create with you. And it's trying to guide you to hold its hand. To create with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's trying to bring you to um, to the edge of of creating with it, you know, and just guiding you to imagine something greater. Maybe some of you, it's like, um, you know, when you start creating with your inner child, you're becoming the mother, father that you wish you had. Because you're connecting to the child in you that had special needs and I feel that some of you maybe is this maybe uh you had special needs and maybe I'm going to mention it because I have a lot of clients that do have um children that have ADHD or some type of special need through their sensitivity that you that they're a mirror for you of your hypersensitivity and what you may have not received yeah I feel this is complete for you, pile number three. I am sending you so many blessings, so much healing your way. Your inner child is ready for you to go and heal and play again together. If you like this message and it supported you, please bring it a thumb up. And I'm sending you many blessings. Namaste.